Here's a couple of tips and pointers. If you're working with Gmail, know that you actually have two email accounts. You have your nocseagles.org account, and that is your Outlook account. And then we also have our Nolmstead or nolmstead.org account, and that is our Google account. Um, Google does have Gmail with it, so you will get a lot of emails through here. You'll get emails when people share stuff with you. You'll get emails when um, things are posted in Google Classroom, if you use Google Classroom. So it depends on how much you get there, on what you want to do with it. So I can scroll through, I can search my mail for um, primary source. I can find the things that relate to primary source. I can also go up, I can click compose if I want to write. The really nice thing is I can email that Nolmstead, that um, the copy. I can email the copy directly from here and you can pull directly from Drive. Just you do have to be careful if you're um, emailing um, to have things printed that you want to make sure that the right permissions are attached to that. So Gmail sometimes gets a little crazy with that. I can star items, check them, delete them. One thing that you need to know is if you want to link your two accounts together, you're actually going to go um, click the gear and you're going to go into settings. Give it a moment. And we're going to go all the way over to forwarding and pop slash IMAP. So you can see that I already have this set up. And what I have done is I have sent a, a code. Um, so let me move this. But to add, you would add a forwarding address, type in that email address, and then you're going to get a, a link at that email. And so you want to click that link to make sure that it's verified. And then after you get that, you're going to come back into here. So back into settings, back into forwarding and pop slash IMAP. And from there, you're going to be able to check. And I have checked forward a copy of incoming mail to leah.burk at nocseagles.org. And, and then I have three options. I can keep it in. So if I keep it in the inbox, it basically leaves it there. It sends me a copy, but nothing changes about it. You can keep it in there but mark it as red, which is actually the, the method I prefer. So I don't want to see that those are, I want to see that they're all red emails. Um, sometimes seeing a bunch of unread emails creates anxiety, or you make sure, it, it kind of is a check for me to make sure that I have gotten um, that email in my NOCS Eagles. I can archive it, which means that you're digitally storing it. Um, Unless if you have a big reason why you need to archive it, I would probably either choose mark um, to keep a copy as read or delete. Some people decide, hey, if it's sending it to my NOCS Eagles, I don't want to have it be in my Nolmstead anymore. So once it is sent, then that email will be deleted. So that is up to you. Um, you would just check that. And then at the bottom here, you want to make sure you click save changes. And so then once you have that set up, anytime an email comes into your Nolmstead, it will go straight to your NOCS Eagles um, address. So that is a way to kind of streamline the two if you're nervous about missing something and you don't like to check two emails.